clapping in my hand, shouted in my heart. Burdens got lighter. Pathway just cleaned right up. Got a whole lot brighter. Everybody, you know, you always want to try to be like Lay's potato chips. I bet you can't eat one. A good recipe, you can't hold it. <clears throat> you got to share it. So everybody should have been there when he set me free. Let's bow our heads in a word of prayer. Most gracious and heavenly Father, with a heart full of praise and thanks for all your many wonderful blessings, we come before thee, thanking thee and praising you for the beauty of the day. The sun, the shines, the clouds that be there. We thank you, dear Lord, for the temperatures that is, for blessing us with the strength to rise upon our feet and go about our daily duty this day. Be with us, dear Lord. Remember the world in its entirety in this country. Those that are suffering without, have mercy. Remember those that are suffering the loss of their loved ones. The Kennedy family, dear Lord, the Sharon family, be with them all and comfort them during these times in their lives that they may know that there is a God who sits high and looks low, who comforted us in all of our tribulations. So, Father, we pray, dear Lord, that you will bless us with the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding that we may have what is necessarily needed in order to impart unto others the ways that are pleasing and acceptable in thy sight. In the name of Jesus Christ, we do pray for his sake. We thank you, both now and forevermore. Together can we all say, amen. <clears throat> Give an honor to God and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to the ministers of the gospel, to the deacons that are assembled, to the congregation. We say good afternoon and may God bless you. God is good and his mercy endureth to all generation. <clears throat> There's no generation gap where God is concerned. But somebody is always going to pick up on the ways that are pleasing and acceptable in God's sight. And when they pick it up, they will carry it on and teach it to others. So therefore, the, the gap, there is none. God's mercy endures to all generation. From one generation to the next. You ever notice how that in a family you can have 12? 11 can go the opposite direction. One is going to hold fast. Somebody in each generation will hold fast to the teachings that they've been taught. And they end up being blessed more so than the others. Why? Because God will smile upon those that love him and keep his commandments. So truly we thank God indeed today. Thank God for the scroll which reads obedience, love, reverence, and respect first to God, then to leadership, then to one another. Thank God for the uh, sparks from the anvil on page three of your program. <clears throat> The first one says a wise guy can tell you what to do, but hasn't sense enough to do it himself. And that's something. Oh, he wise. And he can tell you all sorts of things to do, but he can't figure out how to get it done himself. That's a wise guy. Amen. You got to have some common sense to that. Book knowledge is not going to get it. That's why they have classroom outside. They have field trips to give you a clearer understanding other than what the book might be saying. First hand, amen. The second one says, if you're not wise in your religion, you are a fool in your business. Amen. How true. You see a lot of people that are really slack where God is concerned. And you look at them, and in their business, they are slack. They can't seem to get it together. Well, tighten up on your religion. Be more in tune 
learn to be on time. <clears throat> where God is concerned, then you'll be on time where your bills are concerned. Amen. So it's called getting it all together. Amen. So if you're not wise in your religion, you are a fool in your business. The third says, we are glad there are witnesses to the fact that those who are born of God doth not commit sin. Right. Scripture said, because the seed remaineth in him and he cannot sin because he is born of God. And when God is in the picture, and I'll give you a perfect example, when God is in the picture, if he's in your life of a truth, you will not sin. For instance, perfect example, where's your speedometer when the policeman is in your sight? Right. Amen? <laughs> Where is the policeman? When the policeman is in sight, where's your, what is your speedometer saying? Right. According to the speed limit. <laughs> Amen. So when God is in your life, he's the enforcer, he's the judge. And if he has the control, amen, you are doing everything according to the plan. So this is true. We're glad that there are witnesses. And, and I gather from your amen and your laugh, and you know exactly what I'm talking about. Amen. Witnesses to the fact that those who are born of God doth not commit, don't commit sin. You know, out here ripping and running and doing everything you're big enough to do. Why? Because you know that God is watching. And he is just that close digging. Amen. On the back of your program, it says, the will of God. For man here on earth is to live a righteous life according to his will. Being a witness of the power of God which saves and preserves. And at the conclusion of things here on earth, pass from death unto life eternal with him. Where? In glory. What a day of rejoicing that will be. Free from all the agony. No more pain, no more sadness, no more sorrow, no more disappointments. Amen. All the former things, and behold, all things will become brand new. Amen. What the individuals that you once knew, you no longer know. Because you might see somebody that you just don't like. And if they show up in heaven, then there's going to be anger in heaven, and God ain't going to have that. So there's going to be nothing but peace, love, joy, and happiness. Watch this, forever. Isn't that wonderful? Forever. So we thank God indeed for all things. And on the front of your program it says accepting the will of God. Amen? Amen. Accepting the will of God. We want to always accept God's will. Amen. And you want to do it every day? Whatever, whatever God says, amen, it's all right with me. If he said love your enemy, amen, that's all right with me. Do good to them that despitefully use you and persecute you, that's all right with me. No such thing as eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. If you did it to me, I'm going to get you back. That's not godliness. Amen. But remember that God is sitting high and he's looking low. And he's making a record of everything that we do here on earth. So that on judgment day, amen, as a policeman when he arrests you, I want you to know that everything that you say or do can be held against you in a court of law. Amen. amen. So I want you to be careful. Same thing being, judgment day is coming one day. And everything we do or say will be held or support us in the day of judgment. Amen. So let us watch what we do. Watch what we say, and be careful of how we treat one another. Amen? Today I want to speak to you about amplifying God's will. 
Amen. Amen. Amplifying God's will. Amen. I thank God for my wife. Thank God for the brother being in our midst today. Amen. It's, it's always we got conversating on the phone there, and he would ask me about the Church of the Nazarenes. I said, well, it's interesting. Church of the Nazarenes built this building that we're in <clears throat> back in 1980. He says, oh, really? Well, where are they now? I said, I think they moved the congregation down Newport News or somewhere. But thank God they built it for us. We're here today. And Reverend Thompson told me when I moved in, he said, won't you do one thing for me? And I said, what's that? And he said, preach the gospel. I said, well, ain't no doubt about that. The gospel is definitely going to be preached. And so we thank God. We're still here. 1989. Yeah. 98, we moved in. Amen. Under eviction notice. Because we moved in temporarily. Somebody else was looking to buy. And God saw fit to open up the door. And when the others came in, they wanted to take it and turn it into something else. And Reverend Thompson said, we want it to remain a church. And we thank God. The Church of God now is. And looking through the history of the Church of the Nazarenes, I found back in the history books that it spun off from, guess what? The Church of God. And I found it interesting, going all the way back into the oracles and the history of it. You see, everybody started off with God. Some people got disappointed. And they want to decide they want to go in their own little way, start their own little thing. But it's one thing about us, church, I thank God, that we were founded in 1919 upon the foundation of God, and we still have the same teachings and the preaching of 1919. Elder Life of Solomon Mishaw and his companions started out, yeah. and I thank God indeed for having the willingness of mind to not to deviate to the left nor to the right, but hold firm, and that's amplifying the will of God, God's will. Amplify means to illustrate. Illustrate means to clarify. Amen. And you do so by example. Amen. By example, you're talking about how you want this done in the house and how you want that done in the house. And the sister was testifying of being an example in front of the children. That they may know how to conduct themselves when they get of age. Amen. There's a whole lot of hollering and screaming going on in the children. There must be some hollering and screaming going on around the household. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Pitching fits and carrying on. Amen. But we have to exemplify God's will. We have to illustrate it that others may see and know that this thing is of a clarity. You must do it in a clear form of the things in which God has commanded us to do. God, as we know, is a being. Conceived as a perfect, first of all. Omnipotent and the omniscient originator. The creator and the ruler of the universe. The principal object of faith and worship in the monotheistic, meaning the belief that there is only one God. That religion. Amen. We conceive that God is the greatest I am. And beside him, there is what? None other. Amen. In his will, the definition is described as his desire. God does not desire to see anybody lost. So he sent forth Christ into the world. The brother was talking to the individual and trying to witness to him to get him to see. Sometimes knowledge puffs up. Amen. And they get all, amen. But it's one thing is of a certainty. God will bring you down. Look at Nebuchadnezzar. Look at all of this that I done made. And God took him down, drove him out there in the wilderness until he learned that the most high God ruleth among men. Amen. And he giveth it to whom he so choose to. Don't get all upset over the president. The president is not there because of the president and the people elected him. God chose him to be there for a purpose. Amen. And so we always just let God have his way. His way. Well, y'all put him there. No, God put him there. Promotion comes neither from the east nor the west. It comes from God. God sets things up. This is God's world. Your brother Anthony is saying, again, God's got the kingdom, and if we want to get into God's kingdom, we got to do what? God's will. Amen? 
So his will and his purpose and his desire and his determination is for us to be holy. Amen. Without which, no man, no man shall see the Lord. The Lord's not going to let you into his kingdom. Now, if you down here today can have a rule in your house that when you come in my door, you kick your shoes off and put them at the door. Now, if we can have a rule of cleansiness down here, what do you think about God? Amen. A holy kingdom, no filth, no dirt. Amen. And you want to try to get into God's kingdom with a whole lot of filth and a whole lot of dirt? It ain't going to happen. Excuse my English. It ain't going to happen. Amen. So listen, in the book of St. Matthew, dig it if you will, congregation. Turn with me to the seventh chapter. <clears throat> Thank God for my wife and sons, daughter, daughter-in-laws. Amen. Grandchildren. Amen. And that's something. It is a blessing to know the Lord. The song said, one day I was walking. One day I was talking. One day I was living in sin. I didn't know Jesus. I never knew that I needed a friend. But then one day, one day, I started to seek him. Say, I wanted to meet him. Mm -hmm. Meet this man from Galilee. Lord, hear me pray. Please hear what I'm saying. Oh, Lord, come down and do what? Set your child free. Amen. Amen. And he whom the Lord has set free is what? Free, free indeed. indeed. So listen, in the seventh chapter of the book of St. Matthews, I want you to begin at the very, at the 15th verse. Exemplifying God's will. Is our subject for the day. Yeah. Our thought. <clears throat> Amen. 15th verse, 715 says what? Beware of false prophets. Amen. The Lord tells us to beware of false prophets which come to you in what? Sheep's, Sheep's clothing. clothing. But inwardly they're what? Ravening wolves. Amen. You cannot represent God. You cannot demonstrate who God is living <clears throat> in a world of sin. Amen. Amen. Listen, read. You shall know them by their fruits. You shall know them by their fruit. What? Do men gather grapes of thorns? Amen. If you know anything about grapes, they're not in the midst of thorns. Mm -hmm. They have a smooth vine. Amen. But a blackberry, that's something different. You got all kinds of thorns up in that blackberry bush. Amen. So listen, read. <clears throat> Do men gather grapes of thorns? Read. Do or they what? figs of thistles? Read. Even so what? Every good tree. Good tree. What? Bringeth forth good fruit. But? But a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. Amen. You shall know them by the fruit that they bear. You go out into the field and you see apple tree, you see peach tree, you see pear tree. And if you got any kind of common sense, you know the difference between the three. Amen. That's an apple. That's a pair. And the only way that you're going to be able to know the difference is that you don't taste the difference. And you've been taught the difference. All right now. From a child. You know, a child, mom tell you, do you want some peaches? This is a peach. I'm going to cut you up some peaches so you can eat. And if it's a little tarty, I'll put a little sugar on it. Amen. How do you know that sugar yeah. make it sweet? Because you don't tasted it. That's right. It tastes good. How do you know that's a peach? Because somebody told you it was a peach. Yeah. Amen. How do we know about God? Somebody told us about him. That God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him while in spirit, spirit and in truth. And in true. Amen. Listen, read. A good tree. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. I don't care how it's sliced. Amen. It cannot. Read. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit what happens? is hewn down, Hew down and, what? and cast into the fire. Now listen to this, read. Wherefore by their fruits. Wherefore by their fruits you shall know them. And the 21st verse says what? Not everyone that what? Saith unto me, Lord, 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 shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Because they're not exemplifying God's will. Amen. They're talking about God. Yeah, yeah. But they're not living godly. And All right. In order to do that, you must be an illustration of what holiness is. That's right. Without which no man shall Amen. see the Lord. So listen, read. 
Not but everyone. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall what? Enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that do what? The will of my Father which is in heaven. Amen. You got to do the will. That's the only way you're going to get into the kingdom of heaven. Is you must do the will. Amen. And the will of God is love, peace, joy, happiness, endurance, being obedient. Amen. To God's commandment. <clears throat> St. Mark. Turn with me, please. Third chapter. Preaching and teaching. And his mothers and his brothers. Family, you know, sometimes, you know, when you, you're doing things, family want to get your attention. <laughs> and Jesus was dealing and preaching and going on, and the family, someone came to him in the 31st verse of the third chapter, St. Mark, and said what? There came then, then his brethren. And, and his who? mother. And, and his mother, and standing without, sent unto him, calling him. You know, you, you, you busy, you doing and here they're going to call you. Hey, I need to talk to you. <laughs> yeah. And it's always interesting how just when you get right into the thick of getting it done, somebody's going to call you. Phone will ring. Somebody wants something. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. So here the brethren and the mother standing without sent unto him, calling him. And the multitude sent about him, and they said unto him, Behold, what? Thy mother and thy brethren. Thy brethren without now. They're on the outside and they are seeking you. Read. Seek for thee. And, and he what? answered them saying. And he answered and said. Read. Who is my mother? The question is who is. Amen. Who is my mother? Read. Or my brethren. Or my brethren. And what did he do? And he looked round about on and them. And he looked around about the whole congregation that was gathered there. And said what? Which said about him and said, Behold, Read, behold who? my mother and my brother. My mother and my brother. And not those on the outside designed to see me, but here are my mother and my brother. Read. For whosoever shall do the will of God. Exemplify. That's it. Illustrating the life of Christ. The word of God in them. Whosoever do what? For whosoever shall do the will of God. Shall do the will of God. The same is what? My brethren. Amen. My who? My brother. My who? My brother. And? My sister. My sister. And mother. Amen. You want to know who is? <laughs> then you look at the fruit. That's right. Amen. Yeah. You must exemplify the will of God. Yeah. In order to be accepted into God's kingdom. All Amen. right. First Peter. <clears throat> Second chapter. Let's do what Peter. <clears throat> how he lays it out here. <clears throat> Begin at the 11th verse. Listen to this. Dearly beloved, what? I beseech you as strangers. I beseech thee as strangers and pilgrims. Pilgrims traveling through. As the elder would always say, pilgrim. Yeah, yeah. We're on our way to heaven, pilgrim. Yeah, yeah. Climbing up the golden stairs of glory, pilgrim. Yeah, yeah. Amen. <laughs> so Peter says, dearly beloved, I beseech ye as strangers and pilgrims to do what? Abstain from fleshly lusts. In lust. order to exemplify, to be an example of the kingdom of heaven, you have to abstain from fleshly lusts. Which what? Which war against the soul. Amen. These things war against your soul. Your soul is very precious, church. That's right. If you don't know it, I'm informing you today. Your soul is very important. Amen. And when you lose that soul, amen, you done lost it. Yes. Like Esau sold his birthrights. He counted it as being no good. Mm -hmm. What good is it going to do to me? Joe said, sell it to me. And when it's time for him to inherit the blessing, he couldn't get it because he done despised his birthright. Hmm. And the scripture said how he sought it with tears to get tears. it back and couldn't get it. Whenever you have something as precious as your soul, you treat it as being something that's precious. You don't want to lose that. That's right. Amen. Amen. Read. Having your conversation honest. Having your conversation honest among the Gentiles that whereas they speak against you as evildoers, they what? 
They made by your good works. By your good works, do what? Which they shall behold. They're going to behold your good works, read. Glorify God in the day of visitation. Glorify God in the day of their visitation. Yes. You know, when people treat you bad and they find out that they have to turn around and come back to you. Amen. And that's something. In the day of their visitation, troubles done fell out on them. When they turn around, the only one they think about is God when they get in trouble. Isn't that something? They don't want nothing to do with him, despise him, rejected him, hung him on the cross, crucified him. But when trouble come, Lord, have mercy. I ain't never heard nobody say, the devil, have mercy. That's right. It's always, Lord, have mercy. Lord no Jesus, help me, please. That's right. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. But here they done despised and rejected him. Mm -hmm. Amen. But when they get in trouble, here, here they come. come. Yeah. Amen. Here they come. Read, yeah. brother. Submit yourselves. Submit yourselves to every ordinance of man for who? For the Lord's sake. For the Lord's sake, whether it be to the king as supreme, we are also talking about exemplifying, being an illustration of the will of God. Amen. Read. Or unto governors. Or unto governors and as unto them that are sent by him for the punishment of evildoers and for the praise of them that do what? Well. For so is the will of God that with well-doing you may put to silence the ignorance of who? Foolish men. Amen. God's got a plan, church. Amen. And you want to always be in God's will. Yes, Amen. yes. Read, brother. As free. Read. And not using your liberty. And don't for use your liberty as a cloak of maliciousness, but as the servants, the servants, the servants, demonstrating and walking and exemplifying what? Of God. Of God. Read. Honor all men. Honor all men. Read. Love the brotherhood. Love the brotherhood. Fear God and then do what? Honor the king. These are things that show God's will. Read. Servants, be what? Be subject to your masters. Amen. With all fear, not only to the good and the gentle, but who else? Also to the forward. You got one of them on toward bosses. Amen. They just love to just <coughs> pluck your nerve. <laughs> Amen. Come Lord on. Tell now. you how to deal with him also. That's it. Servants, be subject to your masters with all fear, not only to the good and the gentle, but what? But also to the forward. You're not always going to have a good and gentle boss. Yeah. Someone that is over you, amen. They're going to be forward, mm -hmm. contrary. Yeah. <clears throat> the Lord tells you how to deal with them. You must exemplify. That's right. Illustrate. Yes. In clarity. Mm -hmm. A clear understanding of how you're supposed to do it. You don't do that. Just like when you look around, you see trash on the floor of the church, you don't walk over it and kick it up underneath it. You mm. stand and you pick it up. Come on now. Amen. Thank you. We want to keep God's house what clean. Clean. Amen. Read. Yes. For this is thankworthy. For this is thankworthy of what? If a man for conscience toward for God. For conscience, for conscience towards God endure grief, suffering how? Wrongfully. Wrongfully. When somebody has mistreated you, you take it. That's Look at right. Christ who's hung on the cross. That's right. And he said, Father, do what? Forgive them. Forgive he didn't say, them. Father, wipe them out. That's right. Because he had the power to call ten legion of angels if he wanted to. But he said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. And nobody has nailed you to the cross. That's right. Thrust a thorny crown on your head? No. That's right. Nobody has stuck you with a spear in your side? Thank you, Jesus. Consider him who <clears throat> endured such contradictions of sinners against himself, lest you be weary and faint. Amen. We're talking about exemplifying, not fainting. Today. That's right. Amen. Mm -hmm. Read. For this is thankworthy. If this is thankworthy and what? If a man for conscience toward God endure conscience grief. Conscience toward God, read. Endure grief. Endure grief. Suffering wrongfully. Suffering wrongfully. For what glory is it if when you be buffeted for your faults, you shall take it patiently? Everybody, when you done got offline and somebody correct you, you humbly accept the correction. That's now, it. watch this. Read. But if when you do well. But if you do well. And what? Suffer for it. Suffer for it. You take it patiently. Now, you done done the right thing and somebody done cornered you up and say you done done wrong and you take it patiently. Then this is what? This is acceptable Amen. with God. See, you know you're right. And guess what? God knows you're right. 
You don't have to worry about what others may think or say. As long as you know you're right and God knows you're right. That's it. Everything is going to be all right. Read. <clears throat> For even here unto were ye called. For even here unto were ye called in what? Because Christ also suffered for there us. There it is. There it is. Because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us what? An example. Amen. An illustration on how we're supposed to treat one another. An illustration on how you're supposed to conduct yourself. An illustration. And with clarity, he did so. Mm -hmm. Amen. When he did down, and they pierced him, and then they railing on him. Mm -hmm. saying all sorts, if you be the son of God, come on down. Save mm. yourself. Mm. Amen. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Yes. Read, yes. brother. Leaving us an example. Leaving us an example, what? That ye should follow his that steps. That ye should do what? Follow. Not go in a different direction, but that you should follow right in his steps. What he did, you do. Amen. Amen. And if you follow Jesus, yeah. the song said, if you go with Jesus, watch this now, you're going the right way. The right way. Amen. Amen. Read on, brother. Who did no sin. Who did no sin, neither was God found in his mouth, who when he was reviled, he didn't kick back. That's Read. right. But what? Reviled not again when he <laughs> suffered. Read. He threatened not. Isn't that something? Oh, somebody do something to you. Mm. I'm going to get out. you back. Mm. I'm going to get you back. If it's the last, hear they throw that in. If it's the last thing I do, I'm going to get you. Amen. But Jesus didn't do that. All night long, they misused and abused him. All night long. And then turned around and hung him. And not just high tied him up there, but nailed him to the cross. Mm -hmm. And then going to stick a spear in him. Mm. Somebody stick you with a pen and you ready to fly off. <laughs> Amen. Have All right, now. You got stuck with a pen. Mm. Well, what about a spear? That's it. Being on, thrust now. in your side and you nailed and can't do anything. Didn't say a mumbling word. Father, forgive him. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Read on, brother. Who, when he was reviled, did what? Reviled not again. When he suffered, what? He threatened not. But committed himself to him that judges righteously. Read. Who his own self Who bear our his sins. own self bear our sins in his own body on the what? On the tree. That we, being dead to sins, read. Should live unto righteousness. Should live unto righteousness by whose stripes what? Ye are, were healed. Song said Amen. Jesus paid it all. All to him, guess what? I owe. That's Sin it. has left a crimson stain, but guess what? He washes. White as snow. White as snow. Amen. Isn't that something? Read on, brother. For ye were as sheep, for ye astray. were as sheep. Going astray. Going astray, but now what? Return unto the shepherd. But now I return. Amen. Every now and then we get sidetracked. Yeah. We decide we want to go our way, and we find out that our way ain't the best way. So what do That's we do? It. We have to revert back to who? God's way. God's way. Because God's way is the best way. Amen. All you got to do is read the book. Yeah. Amen. It's all laid out. Everything we need to know is right here in this book. That's it. You want to know how to treat your husband? Amen. It's in the book. You want to know how to treat your wife? It's in the book. You want to know how to raise your children? It's, it's in, in the, the book. book. You want to know how to treat an offending brother? It's all in the book. That's right. Everything we need to know in, the, in book. the book. Amen. Amen. So listen, for you were as sheep going astray, but are now returned unto the shepherd and the bishop of your soul. In the book of uh, Thessalonians, 1 Thessalonians, <clears throat> fifth chapter. We'll sum it up right here. 14 verse. First Thessalonians 5, 14 says what? Now we exhort you, brethren. Now we, we exalt you, brethren, not only brethren, but sisters also. Read. Warn them that are unruly. Warn them that are unruly. 
Amen. It's just like when your children get unruly, you take them up and take them out. And if they continue to get unruly, then you. Amen. Yeah. Ain't going to kill him. That's it. Robert See, God's Christ. way is the best way. That's right. The That's problem right. is talking about injure his little attitude or his spirit or his uh, whatever they want to call the it. IQ. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> I thank God that I got it. That's it. Amen. <clears throat> and it hasn't hurt my ego and IQ and all that. Amen. It's made me the better person. Mm-hmm. When dad told you to don't do something and you do it, stand by. That's it. Dad didn't play. Mm. We say, Brother John, why are you picking on me? Hey, Amen. You should have been here yesterday. Hey, Amen. That was the, the right way. Tough love. Tough love. Hey, Amen. And thank God for the love of parents. That's right. Being led by the Spirit of God according to the word of God, yeah. teaching us the ways of God. Amen. Amen. So listen, now we exalt you, brethren, and warn them that are unruly, comfort who, the feeble-minded, support the weak, be patient towards who? All men. Amen. Don't be too short-tempered. Amen. Be patient. Be patient. That's it. Look at how patient the Lord was with you. That's right. While you got your act together. Long time. And then you're going to be impatient with somebody else. Come on Why don't now. you hurry up and do something? Mm. Why don't you? I need you to do it right now. Mm. Right now. Amen. But when it comes down for you doing something, you drag it. Come on now. Amen. Can't even get to church on time. Mm. Amen. What's the problem? All right. If you can't be up and going in your religion, what are you going to be it. in your business? Amen. Yeah. You'll be a fool in your business. That's it. That's what the elder said, didn't he? Amen. 15 verse says, see what? See that none render evil for evil. Don't you I render evil for evil. We're talking about exemplifying God's will. God's will is a desire, a purpose, a determination, especially loving one another. Amen. That's his will. That's he right. said, Father, make them one. The love that you had with me and I had with you, that they may have it, that we all might be one and all. Amen. The love of God. Listen, read. See that none render evil none for evil. None evil for evil unto any man. Any man. I don't care who he is. He could be a drunk in the street. You don't take your car and run over top of him because he's a drunk in the street. Amen. But you do what you can do to help the drunk, that he might no longer be a drunkard. Amen. And that is offering him the path of righteousness. You don't have to smoke. Amen. Mm -hmm. Brother mm -hmm. John said, pull out his head, show it to this 20-year-old smoker. This is what you look forward to if you continue. Amen. Amen. <sighs> Amen. Can't halfway breathe. You got to get a snort. <sighs> mm. You think it's fun. It's cool. But it ain't cool when you start losing your breath and you can't get no air. Mm -hmm. Amen. That ain't cool then. That's right. Listen, read. See the number render evil for evil unto any man. Any man, but do what? Ever follow ever, that which is ever good. Ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and to who? And to all men. Not just some who you pick and choose, but all. Amen. God's got a plan, church. Amen. 16th verse said, rejoice. How? Evermore. Evermore. Read. Pray without ceasing. Amen. Don't never stop praying. Forever praying. Morning, noon, day, and all throughout. I wake up in the middle of the night sometime, I start praying. Mm hmm Thank you. Because there's somebody on the other side of the earth that may be alive and awoke and need prayer. Amen. That's right. Read. Despise what? No, the 19th says, the 18th says what? In everything, give thanks. In everything. I don't care what happens or come your way. In everything, do what? Give thanks. Ah, Lord, I thank you. Hit your knee. Lord, I thank you. It hurts, Lord, I, but thank, I thank you. Because <laughs> it could be worse. That's right. That's right. Turn the call over upside down within the ditch. Thank you, Lord. And you get out and you. Unhurt. Barely scratch. Thank God. Yes, God is good. I was coming down the railroad, down the highway, and we back in that day, 
It was called Black is Crossing. And I was coming from work in the morning. And this guy was in front of me in the train. I could see the train coming. It was at, he, done, he done come out of Williamsburg, so he done stretching it out now. And I saw that guy heading towards trying to beat the train. I said, Lord, I know he ain't going to try to get across that track. And lo and behold, he went across that track. The horn was blowing. Oh, bam! Took the whole back side of the car, fender, tank, just took it on down the track. Sprung the car right around, heading back across the other way where he should not have came. Turned around. He gets out the car, he bleeding, and he gonna kick the car. <laughs> Bam. I said, you ought to be down on your knees. That's right. Thanking God for sparing your life. That's right. That's Amen. Right. <laughs> and he get mad and kicking the car. <laughs> if he had been two seconds later, it had hit him broadside. It had been all over. Hmm. But the train caught him right on the tail end as he Went across track, hit the tail end, bam. Took the whole gas tank, fenders, the whole trunk and everything down the track. <laughs> Spung him right around, broke every window in the car. And he gets out the car, kicks the car, boom. And I said, you ought to be down on your knees. Woo. That's right. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus, what concerning you. 19 says, quench not the spirit, despise not prophesying, and then you do what? Prove what? All things. Not some things. You prove all things. Just because somebody tell you something, don't you take it and run with it. Prove that. And what do we prove about the word of God? Amen. We take and measure it up to the word of God. If it don't measure up to God's word, then you take and chuck it out. All right. Prove all things and then do what? Hold fast. To that which is Good. bad. Good. Amen. You hold fast to what's good. Read. Abstain from all. Abstain from some. All. Some. Abstain from all. Pick and choose. Abstain from all. Just the things that you want. Abstain from all. Abstain from all appearance of evil. If it look bad, stay away from it. All right. But more than likely, it is bad. Amen. God's got a plan, church. That's right. And we're trying to give you an example today of how we can amplify and you can amplify the will of God. Read. And the very God of peace. Amen. If you abstain from all the appearance of evil and the very God of peace shall do what? Sanctify you Sanctify holy. Sanctify you holy. And I pray God your whole spirit and soul and body be doing what? Preserved. Preserved. Blameless. We're talking about preserving you. And then preserve you for how long? Blameless, blameless unto the coming of our Lord Amen. Jesus Christ. Isn't that something? Preserved, blameless. Amen. You don't want to preserve something that's bad. You kick that out. Mm -hmm. For something that is good, you want to preserve it. Yeah, you want to hold to on to it. I got two old cars in my yard right now. They were some kind of good, and I just seemed, oh, I don't want to turn loose. People come by often to buy them just like they're sitting. I said, nah, I'm going to fix it up one day. Ain't got around to it yet. But mm -hmm. they were good cars. And they're still good cars. Yeah. But they're sitting there rusting away. Amen. But they were good. You want to preserve it. So one day I'll get together and fix it up, hopefully. Lord oh, been willing. Yeah. Read. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Faithful is he that calleth you. Say what? Faithful is he that calleth when you. When we think about God every day, we awake with breath in our nostrils. That's right. And guess who put it there? God did. How Amen. faithful is he? That's Every right. day he is faithful. Faithful is he that calleth you who will also, who also, also will, will do, it. do it. He will preserve you, church. If you get up and start moving in the right direction, he will preserve you. Read. Brethren. Brethren what? Pray for us. Pray for us. Amen. 
Amen. May God bless you. Heaven ever smile upon you. Let us continue to hold on. Hold out. Look up, but don't give it. Every lad believe they heard the truth today. Raise your hand. The Lord said, you shall know the truth. And the truth shall do what? Set you free. Amen. Thank God for being free. The song said the old slaves used to sing a song, I'm free, free, so free. Thank God Almighty that I'm free at last. Amen. So keep me in your prayers and I'm ever stand firm. Be true. Be all that God will have me to be. Turn the service back over to the deacon. Thank you.